The three main things to remember the first time you ever come into a blacksmith shop is to assume everything is hot, to realize you're going to get dirty, and third, don't piss off the smith. I'm Jim Gerlinski, and I'm a blacksmith in Wilkie, Saskatchewan. I think I'm going to show you how to make a fleur-de-lis. You know what a fleur-de-lis is. It's basic, It's the French emblem with the, the two and the tongue in the middle. I'm basically self-taught. A lot of it was done by reading. Uh, this was long before the internet. Basically, I just learned by get, building a fire and figuring out what I was trying to do and how to get there. And when the forge is up to working temperature, it's, you work the iron anywhere between 1450 to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit or hotter. When it's at welding temperature, it's up around 23-2400 Fahrenheit. Yeah, there's lots of expressions that come out of the blacksmith shop. Strike when the iron is hot, too many irons in the fire, overwrought. Rot is an old word for worked. And even though the place looks like a mess, it is organized in its own way. Pretty well has to be because I don't have time to wait and look for a tool, what I need when the iron is hot. Most people assume that since I'm a blacksmith, I shoe horses. And some blacksmiths shoe horses, but a horseshoer is actually a farrier, which is a separate trade, even though we all use the same tools. But I, I'm a general blacksmith. I can do just about anything. I make uh, decorative items, candle holders, yeah, my work's hanging on the street poles, and the town supports me quite well. I've got a lot of fans here. I was born and raised here. Right in the middle of a thunder and lightning and rainstorm, I couldn't hear anything but the rain pounding on the roof. And as the axe went back into the fire for the very last heat. The rainstorm had stopped and over the shop player came a line from a song and it went and to the fire I give the bo my body and to the fire I give my soul. And as soon as it was done that the rain started up again and I couldn't hear a thing. I, I try to be careful. The biggest risk is burning yourself and you can heal. The scars have all blent together lately. Sometimes I get to the point where I'll look at a scar and where did I get that from? But it's never anything major. And have to remember to stay hydrated. You were asking about work hazards. Getting dehydrated is one of them. Many years ago, I was heading down to a craft sale in Regina. And I was kind of thinking, okay, this is going to be the tell. Like financially, how I'm going to do at this sale. Like, am I going to do good at this sale, or am I going to have to go back to digging a ditch for a living? And on the way there, I heard an interview with Joe Fafard on the radio, and he was talking about you have to want it enough. 
and that has always stuck in my mind. I want to be a blacksmith enough. We can stand high heats, but we need to keep water in us. If I retire when I finish my to-do list, I think I'll be about 314 at the time. Yeah, I'm not planning any time. I'm going to keep going for as long as I can. The most rewarding part is I get to play with fire and get away with it. <laughs> If you have program ideas that you'd like to see on Max TV Local On Demand, write us at max.local at sastel.com.